Hey, what's up? It's Surly, and for this segment, we are going to be covering something real fun. If you love cereal as much as I do, you might remember some of these. We are going to go over 20 of the greatest forgotten cereals. Uh, some you can still find if you look hard enough, but, well, maybe one. But either way, let's get right into it. Okay, so first, Cap'n Crunch Deep Sea Crunch. Um, I am not into, like, regular Captain Crunch. I love Crunch Berries, and I love Deep Sea Crunch because it was a mix of both. It had that nostalgic, like, crunchy fruit flavor, which we're going to get into a lot of in this episode, but... <laughs> yeah, it was amazing stuff. Deep Sea Crunch, I'm so sad they took that away. Okay, now, Turtle Cereal. Ninja Turtles Cereal was amazing. It didn't matter if you didn't like Chex or, like, Corn cr Crunchy Cereal. It had marshmallows. It tasted great. Once it got soggy, eh, I could have done without that, but that's most cereals, you know. And I love cereal. But we need to make, like, an unsoggy, like, real cereal. This stuff was great because if you didn't like Chex, like, Rice Chex cereal, it had marshmallows. You could get your kid to eat it. I did. Just because of the marshmallows, you know. I didn't care that it was, like, the same taste as everyone else's ideas, you know. Rice checks kind of suck. But with Ninja Turtle cereal, it didn't have to be that way. Bill and Ted cereal, you know, that was another one that, you know, I didn't really like cinnamon flavored cereal. Still kind of don't. I like Cinnabon stuff, like, man, these breakfast essentials. Me and Greasy, love them. But anyways, it was kind of the same concept, you know, help, kind of halfway healthy cereal and marshmallow. Bill and Ted cereal. Remember when Bill and Ted even had, like, their cartoon? I do, because I got it on DVD. But you know what I do like? Frosted Flakes. And Frosted Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you dirty, rotten bastards! Took it away! I swear, they take away everything I love. <clears throat> okay, um, yeah. Frosted Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It should have lasted way longer than it did. I can say that much. Um, this cereal was delicious. I ate it for almost every meal. I almost love it as much as Fruity Pebbles. But the cereal god spoke and ripped it away from us. You know, our only begotten child is Frosted Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cereal. Okay, so what's next? Ooh, Slimer Cereal. Remember Slimer Cereal? Probably not. It was fruity and marshmallowy and fun. It had like little skull looking things as the cereal pieces. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. As you can tell, I'm not going to take a whole line, lot of time like talking about these things. We got 20 to go through in a short segment, so let's keep rolling. Okay, so Berry Berry Kicks is my next one. Uh, another, I was not into Kicks. I was just not into healthy cereals, but I love Berry Berry Kicks. And I hear you can still get them like, if you look on Amazon and pay lots of money, you know, but uh, I do miss seeing them on the shelves around here because like, I would enjoy a box, but not enough to like order one. Berry Berry Kicks. There it is. There's my answer. And another one. Crunch Punch. You know, um, Captain Crunch could do anything except make like regular cereal. As long as it was mixed with something fruity, it was amazing, but a big bowl of Captain Crunch, eh, uh, it was never really my style. I like the mixes, and they never last. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. Maybe like, you know, everyone's against me and maybe they're plotting against me. You plotting against me? Oh, of course you're not plotting against me. Alright, let's move on. Okay, when The Simpsons released a movie, they released like four different cereals. And I think out of the four, my favorite will always be Homer O's. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> they were so great. And it, all they were was like cinnamon cereal. Like I said, I didn't like, but they did it right. It really did taste like a cinnamon donut. And yeah, I called them Homer O's. I always will. Alright, we're moving on to the next one, which is one of my favorite favorite cereals of all time. Man, I am all jumbled today. Excuse me. Anyway, Dinosaurs. It was just cardboard, fruity cereal in the shapes of dinosaurs. There was nothing spectacular or healthy or anything about it. I just, I love the commercials. I love the cereal. I love the characters. It was, it's all around great. Like, looking looking at it, I can still, thinking about it, I can still taste it. 
It, it was one of a kind. Okay, next, another one of my favorites. Fruity Marshmallow Rice Krispies. They were frosted Rice Krispies with marshmallows in them, and that was the only way I would eat Rice Krispies. Some people mix it with sugar with them, I thought it always tasted nasty. So, when they brought out a frosted brand, I was all about it. I was, I was the happiest little kid in the world when I got Fruity Marshmallow Rice Krispies. And then, when I got older, it was all about Hidden Treasure cereal. That stuff is still fantastic, and I can still taste it. Most of my friends thought it was gross, but I didn't have many friends to begin with. Fuck off. Anyways, if you remember these, they were like crunchy and fruity on the inside. Man, they were amazing. It was like a double pack punch, and I loved eating it that way. I think we should get more filled cereal. There's Crave, but Crave kind of tastes like burnt tire. Same with Oreo O's. I never really get into that stuff, but as you can tell, I like my fruity cereals, and this one was a double punch, like I said. Okay, so Monster Corn Pops. They were fantastic. It was like candy apple or apple cider or something, but it was amazing. Uh, I was never a regular Corn Pops fan. Again, here we go, but, but when they added like a flavoring to it, hell yeah. Okay, for this next one, I want you to reach deep into your memory bank. Okay, you there with me? Banana bubble. It was like a banana milkshake in cereal form. Man, that, that's an old-timey one, but Jesus, it was fantastic. And it left you cereal banana milk. All it did was give, and they took it away. Okay, sprinkle spangles. That's the next one. <laughs> That's ten times fast. Jesus. It was just puffed corn with sprinkles on it, and it was sweetened to a certain extent. And man, I loved it. Okay, next up, Crunchy Stars. Remember with the Swedish Chef? Yeah, they were cinnamon too, but I liked them. They were always nice and puffy, and you know, like not too cinnamony. So Crunchy Stars definitely makes the list. Okay, next we got Rocky Road Ice Cream. Just kidding, it's a cereal. It was a pretty good mash if you like s'mores. It really was. Okay, not much to say on Rocky Road. Next up is Wheaties brand Quarterback Crunch. And remember the Dunker Balls? I do. Don't ask me why these were so good. I mean, they were just perfect flavor. Little footballs and basketballs. It was funny. It's like a parody. Novelty cereal. Okay, and for this next one, I'm totally going to start a petition to bring back Fruit Group. There were so many monster cereals, there was five of them, and they only give us one. Count Chocula. Dirty Thunder. Okay. Fruit Group. Loved it. I remember, as a kid, we didn't get it much, but there was like a special year where they released all five monster cereals, and I think I bought every box of Fruit Group they had. Okay, next, Morning Funnies. Man, it was like the comic cereal, but it was all little smiley faces, like random fruit colors. Ah, oh, they were so good. I can taste those right now, too. It was like so much sugar and fruit at one time. And the beautiful, 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 beautiful cereal. I loved it. And last, but not least, in any way, shape, or form, you know I'll be back with this one. Nickelodeon Green Slime Cereal. Um, this came later, like, I was pretty much like a teenager when this came out, but, uh, we were broke, and we ate a ton of cereal, and we ate a ton of this cereal. Just because, well, I don't know why, it's not special or anything, it just holds a lot of memories. So, yeah, Green Slime Cereal. And on that note, I think I made this quick enough, and I bugged you enough, so, this is Surly, signing out. Enjoy your cereal. Bye. See ya. Get lost. Get out of here.